Hey guys, Fun with Craft Scissors here with another plan with me. This one is in my Heidi Swap Memory Planner. Um, I'm going to be using a kit from Planner Love SP. This will basically be my last summary spread, I think. Um, so I got these and I really wanted to use them and I was trying to save space for them. So this will be um, August 22nd through the 28th. Um, so we're looking at our last week of, our last full week, I guess, of August. So, yeah, I can't believe it's gone by so fast. Alright, so here's the clips. This actually came in a kit that you could only purchase at Planner Love SP. Um, so, I think she may still have some available. I can't remember. So, if you want this little cute little starfish clip, then you're going to want to head on over there. These two are available in my shop. The little seahorse and the seashell. They kind of coordinate together, but it's the same glitter paper. And it's non-shedding, and they're very stiff. So... That's what the backs look like. And the back of this is just black. But they're all super cute and super summery. And then I have some fall clips already in my planner. I don't know if you guys can see. Right there. Got my little leaf and my hedgie and pineapple still summery. But alright, washi. Um, I think these three are from Michaels. I think this one's from Michaels too. I can't remember. Um, this came in another set with another one. This one. But I wanted this one for this part and maybe the top. I can't decide. Because this does have a little strip of washi. But it's not enough to completely put on. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. We'll see. Um, so let's get started. And my leather stickers. So I think it's we have this week and next week of school and then when I think we have a three-day weekend so it's going to be a while I think it's like September 5th is my next day off this strep has already been around my school so if I get that um, I'll try to tweet you guys and say that there won't be any play with me because I don't have a voice <laughs> Won't that be fun? Uh, <laughs> being sarcastic. So let's go ahead and put the washi down. I do have my washi cutter this time. My son did not hide it from me. So that was a plus. I'm actually filming two plan with me today. It's Saturday. This one will go up on Sunday. And then I filmed my plum paper planner a little bit early. And that one will still go up on Wednesday, though. I don't like posting more than one video a day. I like to spread it out. When do you guys watch Plan With Me's? Do you watch them on Saturday? Or do you watch them on Monday? I'm just wondering what day you guys actually watch my videos. Because it doesn't really tell me. So. I don't know. I'm just curious. Because there's been times where I just like got busy and I didn't post them until really late on Sunday. And then there's times where I used to post, I used to post Plan With Me's on Saturdays. And then when I join the Plan With Me group, they post on Sundays, so now I post on Sundays. That's why I changed, if you were wondering. I've been with the group for a while, but it's what I used to do. Okay, so I'm wondering if I should put that at the top instead of the skinny washi at the top. I don't even know if this really coordinates together. It's just all kinds of shades of pink is what we're doing in this spread, so we'll see how it works out. <laughs> In other words. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put skinny washi down here. I'm sad summer is over, but I'm happy to say goodbye to our hot, hot days. We've had a few days where it's been really nice, and we've actually even opened up the windows in our house. And so. I enjoy when we can do that and save on utilities and such and get fresh air. And I think we're going to go to Sam's tomorrow. They have this really good Asian salad. That's what it's called. Uh, and it's like cabbage, cilantro, and then like sesame dressing. 
And the sesame, like the dressing isn't on it until like you're ready to eat it. Like it comes in a separate pouch in this bag of salad. And then it also has another baggie in there that has like these little crunchy, they're not wontons or croutons. I guess it's like a cracker kind of thing, but they're not very big. And then there's like slices of almonds in that same bag. And so you put the whole bag in, of like lettuce, cabbage, mi cilantro mixture, not a ton of cilantro, and you put that in the bowl and then you put the crunchy stuff like the almonds and croutonish thing and you put that in the bowl and then you put the dressing on and then you just stir it. It's amazing. And it's like, it's less than three dollars. Probably with tax it's like three dollars. So next time you have to bring a salad to a party, it's in the salad section of the store. It's in a bag. I don't know how else to explain it, but my husband and I really liked it, so we're probably going to go get that. Because I haven't seen that sold at Walmart. Oh, I just picked up the same washi. There we go. I think I've used this washi quite a bit in Plain With Me's. Sometimes you just reach for your faves, you know? It's kind of how it feels sometimes. Where it's like, I need to mix it up. I have a whole bag of washi. I have like two washi storage containers, and then I have a 31 bag, 31 tote bag full of washi as well. <laughs> so, you know, it's quite a bit. But some, usually the ones that I put in the tote bag are like the holiday theme ones, because you don't. I don't need those out all the time, but, and also like specific ones that I don't think will match with just any spread I put down there. Okay, so I guess the polka dot one will go down at the bottom. Let's use that one one more time, and then I'll probably put the flowery one at the top. I don't know, I haven't quite decided. Usually with skinny washi, I go all the way across, but if it's wider washi, I don't because I don't like how much it cuts that box down. can't believe summer is over and school has started. And my students from last year, I can see how they've changed over the summer, and I'm like, oh, you're getting older. And then that makes me feel old. <laughs> I've already had students bring me, like, their babies and stuff. They want me to meet their babies. And they weren't, like, necessarily pregnant in high school either. <laughs> they were, they just already are grown. I'm in year five, so my freshman that I started out with, well, I, I take that back. I had some seniors my, my first year of teaching in my geography class. So those kids, they were 18 five years later and they're 23 so yeah I could see some of them having kids but there you go it's life how it goes we've had so there's so many new teachers in our building too this time we have like 19 20 teachers that are brand new at our school. Some of them are even first year teachers. Which is always interesting because it's like some of them start off really mean and some of them start off really nice and it's just it sets the tone and it's hard to like restart on where you where how you want your classroom. Like you have to start off hard and then get easier, not start off easier and then get harder because then you'll have pushback from the kids. And then a lot of the time, like me, I get this, a few of the same kids I've had before, so it's even start harder to, like, start the year off differently. But there you go. All right, I want to put down these cutesy little hexagons. I'm telling you, it's going to be all sorts of shades of pink. We're going to have hot pink and light pink and gold and pink. And it's going to be a fun spread. Because technically, the first day of fall, I believe, is September or something. I don't know. So I was like, well, I have enough time to do another summer spread then. <laughs> this was my thinking. 
but I have seen a lot of people go ahead and switch to doing fall spreads, and I get it. A lot of people are like, it's September, it's back to school, it's fall, football has started, like we had our first game at Parkview on Friday night. I didn't go because they don't start till 7, and that's kind of when we start bedroom routine with Trent, so I don't, I don't usually go to the games because what time they're at. Alright, weather stickers, weather stickers, there's some. There's some more. Okay. Let's see. Monday is sunny. I haven't used those yet, so I'm not going to start. Monday is sunny. Tuesday is PM thunderstorms. So I like to use these because I can write on the cloud that it's, I can write PM. So I like it. It's on Tuesday. And then. Wednesday is partly cloudy. I'm mixing it up here. This is Bello XO Planning. This is Planner Love SP. Um, these are from Sahili's Designs, who's having a sale right now. And then this is from Stickerific. <laughs> so we're mixing up our weather stickers this time, guys. Hope you don't mind. All right, we're back to Thunderstorm, but this one is all day. So I'm just going to use this one. She was like clearancing these out for a dollar. So I bought some. And then, what's Thursday? Friday is PM Thunderstorms. Which is good because I think next Saturday. Oh no, this is Friday. I think Saturday. Oh, it's supposed to rain in the morning. I usually go to the library on Saturday. Alright, and then this one is AM Storms. And officially out of these, that's all used up. Okay, so Saturday and then Sunday is just thunderstorms. So I use this one. We've been getting a lot of thunderstorms lately. I think I'm running out of thunderstorm stickers. So I think I pull all my weather stickers at once. And I have partly cloudy, sunny, a mixture. And then partly sunny, and that's my last thunderstorm one. So, oops, I need to order some thunderstorm stickers. Or, you know, make some for myself. <laughs> I guess I could. I get lazy. Alright, um, functionals will go down after I do some of these. There's some full boxes that I thought were cute, and they match the planner really well. So, I was going to put those down. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, so there's one for every day. And I thought these were cute little checklist ones. Even though this is a memory planner, sometimes I have lists to make in it. Now, just a forewarning, next year I'm probably just going to be planning in my Happy Planner and my Erin Condren. Because I do scrapbook, so it's not like I necessarily need a memory planner. I will say I stopped journaling as much in my personal journal because of the memory planner. But, I don't know. I just feel like I really liked, I really liked using it. But I guess it's time to change it up. I like to try new things. Oh, I ripped that one. Yikes. Is that bad? Yeah, it's that bad. Okay, so that one I damaged. I just yanked it off. I don't know why. I was not careful at all. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to... Can I take this off? I was going to take this off. Please don't. Please don't tear. Don't get mad. Okay, it did not tear. Okay, so I'm going to put this one over here. And then I have a weekend banner that goes right here, so I didn't want to put a box there. And then I like to do a things of note down here, so I'm going to cut this off a little. I think if I cut just one off, it'll fit. Because I want to put this over that. I'm just write down some quick little memories. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I destroyed one of those. I just ripped it too fast. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, mm and then I'm my weekend banner. 
so cute. Put that down on Saturday. See what I mean? I would have covered up a good chunk of that. Anyway. All right, there's label headers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have some more over there. I'll grab some from this sheet so I can cover up my days of the week, which I should have done before I put down weather stickers. Gosh darn it. Yeah, so you know it's going to stick out. Okay. I'm not going to be using those for covering up days of the week. We'll just use it for here. Which I'll still probably cover up some weather stickers. There's some light pink and dark pink and polka dot ones. Which are really cute. The polka dot ones I think are a little bit wider. Yeah, they are. They're too wide for that. To use these for something else. Put that one down right there so I don't mess it up. Oh, whoops. Because I put that other one there for a second. <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> Carried away. Anyway, I hope you guys like pink. So my last spread um, that I did, I went ahead and filmed the other one, and it's a Peter Pan theme, so that one's really green, and then this one's really pink, so that's kind of funny, because those are my two favorite colors. I didn't really plan that. <laughs> I didn't, I swear. So she sent me two sets of these, but these were like printed brighter than these ones. They're on different sticker paper, so I think she was testing them out. Um, and she sent them to me because we're friends. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my hair is shedding. So there are some extras on here, so I'll probably add those in. That is very, very crooked. Okay. And then one more. There, that's better. Okay. And there's to do, and there is some checklists. I already put those checklists down, so I don't know if I'll use those. I like the little star flags. I don't know. Okay, let's put some functional down. So there's Friday over here. That's from Sugar Gal Shop. And then coffee. Um, these are from Sahili Designs. I feel like I favor these three because the pink in them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna branch out. I'm gonna use this one. I like to get coffee or make coffee on Monday mornings, definitely. And then I just kind of use these throughout to track how much coffee I'm really downing. Um, we'll have to use this pink one. I'm almost done with all these cactuses. <laughs> Cacti? Cactuses. Whatever. <laughs> They're from Stickerific. And then the plan with me. And this planner I film on Saturdays and I post it on Sundays. But I go ahead and put this down. This is something I'm doing on Saturday. So cute, sugar yow shop. I only have three left. I might need some more soon. In like a month. <laughs> Alright, camera. Um, definitely need to use pink ones. I'm running out of pink. That happens. Struggle. Okay, post this one on Thursday. And then I post this one on Sunday. And the name of this shop changed, so I don't remember what to say. <laughs> I say that every single time because I don't look it up. My bad. Where did I go? I had a pen. There it is. Okay, we need to write the days of the week. Not the days of the week. We need to write what day it is. The number. So this is 22, right? Yeah. 21. I'm going to write with black so you can see it. I could have written with pink. And I might write with pink on like the white part, but on these, my pink is not going to show up. So, as far as that goes. 
Um, let's see, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I know we have a blood drive. I think the 25th or 24th. I don't remember. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Not because I don't like donating blood. I do, but the last time I did a school blood drive, they stuck me and they went all the way through my arm. So they basically pierced my elbow, the inside of my elbow. That was not pleasant to deal with for the rest of the day and try to teach. So I think I need to just donate on my own at the donation center on a day when I'm not teaching. <laughs> I don't know. They stabbed me. I just cut that trim off. Okay. Um, there's these cute little, like, seashell banners. So I thought I would use some of those. It doesn't want to come out. There. Come on. I want to be delicate with it because, you know, I rip things. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Okay, so we're just going to throw this up here. And then I have another one because there are two of these. So I'm going to throw the other one on this side. Yeah. So they're cute. Alright, and then I didn't use the washi tape. I don't know. I just didn't. Um, there's to do labels that are cute. Old to do flags. Cause see, I'm mostly I don't really write my to dos down in this planner. I write them in my other one, but these are cute. <laughs> so you know. And then there's these cute little star flags. So I thought I would put some of those down. And there's arrows. And today's. Okay, let's put down some of these big starfish. There's a girl starfish and a boy starfish. So there's the boy and there's the little girl. So cute. I'm gonna put her over here. And I'll put him on this one. And then there's cute little tiny ones. It makes me think of home with the little tiny star babies. <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, if you don't, I, you don't watch kid movies. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you may not. <laughs> Like I watch a lot of kid movies. It was funny because a lot of movies came out the year I was born, and my mom was like, "Yeah, we didn't get to really go to the movies because we had you. We didn't have a life." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, now I'm getting it because I'm like, I don't have a life either right now." And that's just kind of the way it is when you got kids. You don't. They are your life for quite some time. I'm learning that. Alright, so there's these cute little stars which I may use to like decorate later or add in. But let's go ahead and pull these other decorative stickers from this sheet just because I'm already I've already started using it, so I want to use them all now. Let's put her down there. And we'll put him over here. Of. You can stick him anywhere. I like the starfish in Finding Nemo too. He's funny. Or she? Yeah, it's a she. I was trying to remember. There's so many characters in that movie, you know? It's hard to make with them all, I think. One more little girl starfish. Put her over here. I don't know. Okay. And then 
there's some to do's and some flags and stuff so I'll just save those back as I need them throughout the week and I think that'll be good so I'm just gonna write I'm just gonna write today on all of these like what we did today I like the today headers some people don't because they're like what does that mean I'm like whatever you did today whatever you ate today that's kind of the point of them. I don't know. I could just be making that up. <laughs> it happens. So I mostly write down like, we played Play-Doh, we did books, we did puzzles, um, we did something as a family, like family movie night. That's kind of what this one is. So it's probably a little overwhelmingly pink. Let me write in my days of the week as black, and maybe that'll help it. I didn't really pick other color other than gold. So I guess our colors are gold and pink. Which, I used to hate gold. I don't wear gold. You can tell I have a white gold ring on both my fingers. Most of my jewelry is white gold. That's just what I prefer. I didn't have this kind of jewelry until after I met my husband. He was the one that really first started giving me gold jewelry. I don't think I've ever had a boy before him give me jewelry. Flowers, chocolate, teddy bear kind of stuff. Yes, but I don't know. I met my husband when I was 19. And then we got married when I was 20. One? Something like that? I don't know. We're actually celebrating this last week was we've been together for ten years. Our anniversary is in March. And we our anniversary in March will be seven years. So yeah, three years after I turned nineteen. Yeah, because we got married and then I turned twenty two like three months later. Yeah, that kind of helped. I like the black on it, but I, I think I might write on pink. I don't know. There's so many shades of pink. Alright, thanks for watching. Give it a like and please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. I want to see how the clips look. Oh, I forgot one. Ooh. It even has the little shell. So cute. I'm excited. <laughs> It'll make me feel like it's still summer while I'm working. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.